but what is going on guys, it's Gopian Army here, and this is the best way to make your slash into a racing slash. So if you don't remember, if you haven't watched my videos, I'll probably leave some links in the video description, I'll probably show, show some in this video. It used to go, it used to be like up here, and every time I would run on 3 cell lipo, it would come off the ground, the front would come off the ground, and it would flip, and it would just stay completely off the ground. So what I did to change that is I had this mounted right here and that makes the tires a lot lower down and that makes it more of an off-road truck. If you move this out, it will be a lot stiffer and a lot lower to the ground. So it's really stiff and it's lower to the ground. I did that in the front and the back. As you can see, it used to be like straight down. Now it goes out. If you're wondering about the front shock protectors, I got those from my friend Josh. Thank you, Josh. And that's pretty much it. So I'll show you how this runs, and then I'll show you a comparison to how it used to be. So here it is with the new shock mounts, and let's see how it runs now. So I noticed right when I did this, it does not come off the ground at all. It's so much better. I love how it just plants on the ground, and you can really get top speed with this. Without worrying about anything. It used to do wheelies every time I would give it throttle. Now it just plants on the ground. Sarah, what are your thoughts? Well, I think it's more sturdy at fast speeds. Definitely, yes. Alright, so now we're just going to give you some more driving footage.